Shalom, brothers and sisters, and welcome to another Daughters of Sarah. Today's lesson that I am thy father and thy mother. And we're going to start with Deuteronomy 30, 15 through 16. See, I have set before thee this day life and good, death and evil, and that I command thee this day to love the Most High thy power, to walk in his ways and keep the commandments and his statutes and his judgment that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Most High thy power shall bless thee in the land where thou go to possess it. Honor thy mother and thy father is the fifth commandment, and it is the only one that cometh with a promise that say, Honor thy mother and thy father, that it may be good for you, and that you may live long in the land. But there are sisters and brothers who care nothing about their parents' parents, Every one of us have to stand in the judgment of the Most High and give account on how we treat our parents. Many of us who have treated our parents with disrespect say we have gotten away with it. But the Most High keep records of every action that is done in our lifetime. Many of us have parents and grandparents that are in the nursing home and have been there for years without their children coming to see them or even making a phone call to see if they are alright. The only time that some parents see their children is when they want their parents to sign a check or some legal papers that is going to benefit them. I worked at a nursing home for years and I saw this happen and it was so sad. So start keeping the commandments of the Most High and honor your mother and our father and care for them when they cannot care for themselves. And that do not only mean financially. It can just mean picking up the phone and saying hello, I love you, or just drop by to see them can mean so much to them in their old age, especially when they are sick. Listen to what the Bible has to say about children who rebel against their parents in the Bible. Deuteronomy 21, 20. So they should say unto the elders of, this, of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunk. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he died. So shall die. Put away evil from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. We cannot, we cannot stone our children to death now, but the Most High will punish them when he returns if they do not repent. Many of them receive their punishment now, when they do not listen to their parents and dishonor them, and do not keep the Most High commandments. These things can happen to you. If you are a heavy drinker and a glutton, you will come to poverty, and many contact diseases by having sex. And many even get killed in this evil world. When they is told by their parents to keep their pants up and their dresses down and they disobey them. So if you rebel, despise, condemn, and insult, or abuse father or mother, you will surely be put to death when the Most High returns. If you have not repented of dishonoring your parents, before you die you will receive everlasting punishment in a lake of fire which is hell. That's what the Bible say, not me. Matthew 15, 4 say, For the Most High command sin, Honor thy mother and thy father. He that curses mother or father, let him die the death. This means if you do not want your parents around you anymore, and when you are, you want, you abuse them with words and or action, or fight them hand in hand, and some even murder their parents. Even if you could receive punishment in this world, for your action against them, you will still receive the punishment of the Most High at the end of this earth age for dishonoring your parents. Your parents ask you for help, and you refuse to help them. That's against the law of the Most High. Now, if they ask you to do something that's wrong, you can refuse them in a respectful and right, rightful way. Sometimes when you see or hear some Israelite man or woman, boy or girl, dying in the prime of their life, it can be because they disrespect their parents in a very bad way or did not listen to their parents. Some die from diseases, being murdered in horrible ways, suffer real badly in their lifetime, all for being hard-headed and dishonoring their parents. This also happened when we is being disobedient to the Most High command and do what we think is right for us and not listen to Him. Give the elderly respect, especially those with gray hair. The Bible says, honor them. Leviticus 19.32 says, you should raise up before the hoary head. Honor the face of the old man 
and fear thy God, I am the Lord. Proverbs 16.31 say, The hoary is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. Proverbs 3, 2 says, For they will add length to your days, years, and peace to your life. You should do them no harm. It's about loving them, no matter who they are. They deserve respect and honor for the years they've been on this earth and the wisdom they have gained. They can tell you and help you how to do things that can change your life for the better and how to solve many problems you may have in your lifetime. But the key is to take that advice and use it to the best of your ability. If he or she is telling you something that can bring correction and balance in your life, why not take it and use it? The Most High created them so that the wisdom and understanding they gain from the Holy Book, the Bible, can spread to those who will listen and need it, and if they live righteously. The Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go, and if that child or children are raised up by parents to live for the Most High and keep his laws, most likely these children will honor their father and mother. And if they shall fall, they will be able to stand back up by taking hold of what they have been taught by their parents. Proverbs 22, 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Ecclesiastes 7, 17 says, Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why should thou die before thy time? So you can die before your time by not obeying your parents, by dishonoring your parents, and not, not obeying the, the laws of the Most High. A lot of children in our nation have not been raised to love and fear and keep the Most High laws, but have been raised to love the world and its morals and tradition, ideals and lifestyle. That's why many of them get sick and perish before their time. Fill them up to be strong men and women of the Most High so they can stand against the wells of Satan and be help to you in your old age if you need it. Because if not, some would treat you the same way they were treated when they were children, when you get old and cannot help yourself. If they have been broken in spirit when they were children and did not feel they were loved by you, and when they become men and women, they will be rebellious against you. Remember, the Most High said, Honor thy mother and thy father. That means if, even if you were not treated right by them. The Most High is the only one who judge everyone for their action, whether it be good or bad. And he had the time set to when he would do it. You just pray for them and yourself. If you do not help your elderly parents, you is worse than a sinner. And that means you have no place in the kingdom of heaven. 1 Timothy 6, 5 says, But if any man provide not for his own family, especially for those of, of his own house, he have denied the faith and is worse than an than infidel, mean a sinner. People give offerings and tithes to the church and leave their parents, who may need help from them, financially hanging to do for themselves when they are not able to. Look at what the Bible has to say about this, that which is called Cobra in the Bible. Mark 7 verse 11 to 13 but ye say if a man should say to his father and mother it is cobra this is to say gift by whosoever thy mightest be profit by me he should be free and ye suffer him no more to do aught for his father or mother making the word of the most high of none effect through your tradition which ye have delivered and many such like things do ye the Pharisees and scribes were telling the people of that time if they give to the church and not to their parents, it would be forgiven them because they are giving it to the Most High. And the false ministers and preachers are doing the same thing today. These modern day Pharisees and scribes is telling you to give your money or whatever you have, give it to the church, no matter the need of the person who's giving it or the need of the people they are supposed to provide for it making them to disobey the most high word. I saw a man give a false prophet a hundred dollars when his mother was home without food, thinking he was doing it to please the most high, not knowing he was making that false prophet rich, and he was disobeying the laws of the most high and did not know it. When you practice, when your parents ask you to do something, it doesn't matter how small it is or how big it is, just do it. Some of us put our parents and grandparents in nursing homes, and do not even visit them or call or ask about how they are doing 
or visit them in the hospital or in their homes or even give them a phone call and listen to what they say. A lot of us do not like to hear the truth from our parents and that's why we do not call or go to see them. If you do not like what they are saying, just walk away. You shouldn't curse or fight or stop communicating with them. If you do, you are dishonoring them. A lot of parents in, in the elderly homes only see their parents when they want them to sign legal papers so they can get money or material things that their parents have. This was one of the saddest things that I saw happen in the home for the elderly. And I repeat the same Bible saying again. Cursed be anyone who dishonored his father and his mother. If you have a widow in your family and she need help, give it. Take care of the widows and the widower, too, if need be. And that do not mean financially all the time because he or she may not need help in that way. It can be about loving them and showing it. Before our Messiah died, he arranged for his mother to be taken care of. James 19, 26 to 27, saying, When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said it unto his mother, Woman, Behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. If you do not help your elderly father and mother, who cannot help themselves, you have the means to do so. This is as worse as being a sinner. A lot of children, when they grow up, think they are better than their parents and look down on them. And a lot of them would not have gotten where they was today if it were not for their parents or some family members that helped them on their way. Just think, if this was a rule done in every family, if the one who had helped the elders in their family, the elders would not ever be without the things they need and the help they need in their daily lives. If our nation was like that, we will be blessed in, to the highest degree. That was the way we lived in ancient times. We took care of our elderly people. The Messiah did it for his mother. He made sure she was taken care of before he died. I'm going to go to Matthew 20, 31. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He that take not his cross and follow me after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life should lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake will find it. Acts 5, 22, 29 says, Then Peter and the others said, and answered, and saith unto to me, We ought to obey the Most High rather than man. This means that parents or anyone should not have priority over a person more than the Most High. Although the Most High give parents authority within his, the family and every member have his or her limit what to do and say in a family, we must not obey our parents when it goes against the laws of the Most High. This is what the disciples of the, of the Messiah said when ordered by the council not to preach the name of the Most High. Acts 5.29, I repeat again, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than man. So parents should also be obedient to the word of the Most High when dealing with children and in all things. When you do what the Most High commands you to do, your life will be better and he will give you eternal life with him. Proverbs 7, 2 says, My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments and with thee. Keep my commandments and live and live and my laws are the apple of thy eye. So bind his laws and write them in your heart, and keep them in the, as the apple of your eye. Meaning, let his words guide you in every phase of your life. But if you do whatever it takes to find your life in this world, no matter how evil or wicked it may be, you will lose your eternal life at the Most High and end up in hellfire with the God of this world, the devil. The only way that his words can guide you is that you read and study the scripture and our history book, the Bible, to know if you are being told the truth by me or any person who say they are servants of the Most High. Acts 17, 11 say, There was more noble than in, in, in Thessalonians, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, 
whether those things were so. There are many misconceptions, and one of them is that we should follow our parents' religious beliefs. If you want to know if you are being told or, or taught the truth from the word of the Most High, do this. Study the scriptures for yourself, whether it be the truth, and it must be proved by the word of the Most High. If it's not proved by the Bible, do not go along with it, and with anyone, no matter who it is, because you alone will be held accountable at the age when you can understand not to do bad things and have no other God besides the one that is in our holy book, the Bible. Do not fight or curse them if you disagree with them. You should disagree in a respectful way. Say, Mom and Dad, I read this in the Holy Bible, so please respect the understanding in which the Most High revealed to me concerning the Scriptures. And that means do not go along with the pagan holidays, immoral behavior, and worldly traditions. Many parents stand behind these false preachers and believe in what they say. First John 14, 1 say, Be loved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets go out into the world. If this happened to you, pray to the Most High that he would change their heart and read the Bible for yourself and wish up the Most High and Him only. There's another misconception that people do that is against the Most High. They wish up their ancestors. That is displeasing to the Most High. The Bible teaches the dead know nothing and they are not aware of the things that is going on in this world and can never help you or harm you. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 5 and 6 say, For the living know that they should die. But the dead knoweth not anything, neither have they any more a reward of the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love, their hate, their envy is now perished. Never, neither have they any more portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Isaiah 8, 19 say, And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirit and to wisdom that peep. And that muzzle should not a person seek unto the Most High for the living to the dead. Another evil misconception that people do that is against the Most High. They worship their ancestors. The Bible teaches the dead know nothing and they are not aware of the things that are going on on this earth and can neither help you or harm you. So when you worship people that are dead, say them in his angels and demons that are deceiving you. Have you think you are seeing and hearing your loved ones and they are telling you things from the grave. Even when you think you are praying to special people that once lived, they are dead human beings that once lived and now they are dead with no memory of this world, neither things that are in the world, whether it be material things or human beings. This verse tells you should not seek from the dead answers for anything. Seek answers only from the Most High who live forever, instead of the dead who know nothing and have no memory. You must appreciate your parents by being thankful for all they have done for you when they were living, with help of the Most High, but after they are dead, it's over. They cannot help you anymore. Love your parents and grandparents because you never know when they are going to leave this world. I know you want to know and feel you did the best while they were here. This loyalty must stand through sickness, good health, wants, good fortune, failures, which can bring supernatural blessings from the Most High if you stay loyal to your parents to the end of their life. Because love your parents and treat them with love and care, for you will only know their value when you see the empty chair. Never complain about what your parents could not do for you. Proverbs 15, 20 say, Why son make a father glad, but a foolish man despise his mother? Matthew 6, 14, 15 say, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly father forgive you. Even if you are not proud of the way they live their lives, don't be angry with your parents in order to please other people. 
Those other people did not spend their lives building yours. Families is like branches on a tree. We all grow in different directions, yet our roots remain as one. So appreciate your parents. You never know what they sacrificed they went through for you. So forgive them so the Most High will forgive you for what you have done in this world to others also. Love your parents when they cannot love you back. And let the Most High take their place for the love they cannot give you. But you are to love them just the same. Just pray and thank the Most High that they were in your life as your parents or grandparents. And you did know them. Think how many children are there that do not know or never met their parents. Our parents may not be perfect, but they are the most precious people that, that, the, that Messiah have given us. Shalom, brothers and sisters.